Why, might you ponder, do men statistically tend to work more hazardous jobs than women? Is it a mere coincidence, or are there more profound reasons underpinning this trend? Today, we dive into this intriguing subject, untangling the myriad of factors at play. Ever wondered why, in the realm of labor-intensive jobs, men are often the majority? It's no secret that men and women differ physically, and these differences can play a pivotal role in the job market. Men on average possess around 30% more muscle mass than women, specifically in their upper bodies. This additional muscle mass can provide men with a strength advantage, making them ideal candidates for physically demanding jobs. Moreover, men typically have a more substantial bone density and lung capacity than women, which can further enhance their physical endurance and resilience. These physiological differences are not a matter of superiority or inferiority but rather, a testament to the diverse strengths of both genders. Now, it's crucial to understand that these physical attributes are not the sole determinants of who works dangerous jobs. Social and cultural factors also come into play. For instance, societal expectations and traditional gender roles often guide men towards more physically demanding and hazardous jobs. Also, let's not forget risk tolerance. Studies suggest that men are generally more willing to take risks compared to women. This willingness to face danger can lead them to high-risk jobs often associated with higher pay. To wrap up, the propensity of men towards more dangerous jobs stems from a combination of physical capabilities, societal expectations, and greater risk tolerance. While men may be more represented in physically demanding jobs, this doesn't mean women are incapable of performing these roles. Instead it's about recognizing the unique strengths and capabilities that both men and women bring to the table. After all, the world of work is vast and varied, and there's room for everyone's unique contributions. Remember the aim is not to foster division, but to promote understanding and respect for the diverse roles we all play in society. It's not about men versus women, but rather, men and women, each with their unique strengths, working together to build a safer, stronger and more prosperous world. So the next time you see a man working a dangerous job, remember, it's not just about brute strength. It's about a blend of physical capabilities, cultural norms, and a dash of risk-taking. And for all the women out there in physically demanding roles, keep breaking those stereotypes. Your strength, both physical and mental, is equally commendable. And there we have it, a brief exploration into why men tend to work more dangerous jobs. It's a fascinating topic, one that goes beyond mere statistics and delves into the complex interplay of biology, society, and individual choice. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember, diversity in the workforce is a strength, not a weakness.